Do you remember Apex Mobile? Well, after the game mysteriously shut down, the dev team that helped Respawn work on it suddenly released their own version, taking pretty much everything from the main Apex and changing it a little bit, making some adjustments, and, well, we have a very different game that was literally uses the same assets from the main game, the same map layouts, the same legends, the same abilities. It also stands on its own with very different choices when it comes to the whole style of the game. Now I thought it would be fun to look at how the legend abilities compare and also show some different gameplay moments because there are some things that are obviously just exactly the same but the differences are really quite interesting. For example, Pathfinder can grapple anywhere. He just fires up this little orb and he can grapple midair which is actually kind of an interesting buff for him. I want to go through all of the abilities first because you'll get to see just how interesting some of the potential buffs could be for some legends. Crypto just seems so much cooler in this version, as does Lifeline and many other legends. So first is Wraith. Now if you've seen any of my Apex Mobile China shorts, then you'll know Wraith is pretty much the same. Quite a similar style in terms of her appearance, and the abilities are no different from the main game, although the portal does look a little bit different. You know, some stylistic changes, nothing massive though. Things do get really interesting when you go to Lifeline, though. Definitely some more stylistic changes, but overall, the same silhouette, the same sort of healing drone buddy companion thing. But her abilities actually feel like a buff over the current Lifeline. When she puts down her drone, not only does it heal people in a large radius, but it has a shield that blocks damage from whatever direction Lifeline decides to point it. This allows you to have temporary cover and heal up over time. Now it doesn't last for long, but it does seem to be invincible. It's kind of like a one, it's kind of like a wider Newcastle shield that can't be destroyed. Her ultimate is the same, although it has four sides for loot because in this game, there's four players per team. Next we have Octane. <laughs> Octane is pretty much the same. He can stim and he's got a jump pad, but well, he doesn't actually stim. He, he drinks energy drinks. Not sure what drove that stylistic change, but the jump pad is actually so much better than the main game because once you jump on it, you can change direction in the air so much more fluidly, which basically allows any player to quote unquote tap strafe without actually inputting a tap strafe in game. It just adds more fluidity to the movement midair. I don't know if that would be a good thing if it would create readability issues for the main game, but it feels super fun. And what you'll see with a lot of the other legends later on is that these abilities are just so much more fun. Uh, maybe not balanced, but fun. Next up we have Gibraltar. He's literally the same except he's been turned into a robot. Crypto has a very similar style to the main Crypto. His abilities are actually so much cooler. It's the same ability set, but when you place down the drone and you're not manually controlling it, it will automatically scout the area and look for enemies that will be pinged to Crypto and his teammates, which is kind of like a really nice use feature for him. And the ultimate has a really nice feature. Now, I think the tactical may be a bit overpowered for the main game, but this change for the ultimate, I would really love to see. So when you activate your ultimate, you can select where the drone will travel to and it will then activate the EMP. It just feels so much less clunkier than going into the drone thing and then moving up and then exiting and then activating it again. I think this would actually be a really nice buff for Crypto. Next up is Valkyrie. And like I said earlier, any kind of movement ability in this game is just so much better. And you'll see later on in this game what I mean by how much better like i'm gonna do some wall jumps and sliding and grappling and the movement is just nuts in this game but valkyrie is pretty much the same no difference besides better air movement with her jetpack next we have this weird legend that isn't actually a part of apex now these guys had all of the files everything that was in development for apex mobile so this could have been an upcoming legend i have no idea but basically she kind of goes invulnerable for a, a while with her tactical and the ultimate seems to be like this massive healing radius thing, not really sure. And then we have this weird sort of mixture of Fade and Revenant. I don't really know what's going on with his abilities. And 
And then we have Bloodhound. Yeah, it doesn't look like Bloodhound, but it's the same abilities there, uh, in every single way. Now, just to show how crazy this is, let's jump into a game and you'll see everything is the same. You'll know this is Apex Legends if you didn't believe me already. Here we go. So that is Epicenter. This is Capital City. This is Refinery. Uh, here's Overlook. We got uh, Geyser. I can't remember the name. You got Sorting Factory. You got Harvester. And then you got Skyhook over there. It's literally World's Edge. But the weird thing is, they kind of like changed it. But the layout is literally the same. Like they, it's not that they just took the legend and their abilities. They literally made the same map layout. It's the same thing. This is the same building I just landed at in Apex. That's how, that's how ridiculous this is. Don't land with armor though, which is funny. But anyway, check out the uh, Pathfinder grapple. Um, Pathfinder's grapple. You can just grapple onto anything. Look at that. And the sliding in this game is even more fluid than the main game. Like, you can slide instantly. There's a wall jump. Yep, you can do it. Just like in the main game. I mean, they even copied the movement. Which is just crazy. I mean, of course, it's the same game. That's the wingman. There you go. Wingman in this game, I believe, is nuts. Yeah, okay. It's the same building! Look at the speed! This is of course streamer building. Here it is. Arc stars? This is an arc star, believe it or not. Yep, even zip lines, dude. Oh. Okay. Let's try an arc star. Look, stuck him! This is the same thing. <laughs> oh my god. Look, they even have the cargo drones. Look at that. That's literally a cargo drone. Player there. Same buildings, they changed the doors though. Look at that. Same colour, but different design. Oh my god. We will jump here. There's a jump pad. And you can grapple into it, of course you can. It's literally harvester. <laughs> what? There's the bridge. And who can forget redeploy balloons? Oh, and care packages! There's a care package. We got a Kramer! Yes, we have a Kraber. It's literally the same model. Look at it. There we go. Let's get closer. Oh, imagine if we hit that dude. 